dinosaurs. Fascinating majestical creatures that lived over 65 billion years ago. Due to modern technology, we can see them in action today in movies. But why can we only see these creatures in movies and not in real life? Well, there are four reasons why. In the very first Jurassic Park movie, it shows how they got dinosaur DNA. But look, a hundred million years ago, there were mosquitoes, just like today. And just like today, they fed on the blood of animals, even dinosaurs. Sometimes, after biting a dinosaur, the mosquito would land on the branch of a tree and get stuck in the sap. After a long time, the tree sap would get hard and become fossilized, just like a dinosaur bone, preserving the mosquito inside. Using sophisticated techniques, they extract the preserved blood from the mosquito and bingo. Although this makes it seem very possible, it is actually quite the opposite. The mosquito has to be female, has to immediately get stuck in tree sap right after dino blood consumption, then has to fossilize it without the disturbance of water, which is very unlikely. Adding on, the half-life of DNA is 521 years, so after a thousand years, the genetic information would be 75% gone, and after 6.8 million years, every single base pair is gone. Another reason is the usage of frog DNA. We use the complete DNA of a frog to fill in the holes and complete the code. <laughs> Frogs are amphibians and dinos are amniotes, two very different species. Combining the two DNA is like solving a puzzle with a billion pieces that is mixed with another puzzle with a billion pieces. So instead of using frog DNA, it is more reasonable to use species that are more closely related to dinos, like birds. Also, nuclear transfer is a common way used to clone animals today, and to complete nuclear transfer, a host is needed for the DNA to grow. Unfortunately, there are no dino cells or dino eggs that are usable to host the DNA. And the final reason is so that we don't get eaten, like this guy right here. <laughs>